one lip and you just, you just choked up real quick. Uh, anyone have it? Alright. It has been such a long time since I've recorded. I feel rusty. I feel a little bit old. I'm starting a brand new series and I'm calling this series doing this for me. Now the reason I wanted to do this is because as much as I love traveling and being with other people and being surrounded by other people, I found myself comparing myself too much, being too self-critical. Um, I even had some of like the other Gymshark athletes be like to me, Chrissy, you are too critical of yourself. You need to just calm down. And they are completely right. This is not anything for like negativity. This is not for sympathy. This is me getting a grip and realizing that I need to stop comparing myself. I need to stop comparing my progress, my looks, my mentality with other people's and realize that I'm an individual and I need to get my shit together. So that is why I want to do this series. I really just want to do things to help my mental ability and my mental health and not necessarily just physical. And I think, yes, Buttons, we will get to you in a minute, girl. Can we just, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Buttons. Much obliged. But honestly, I just think in the fitness industry, we focus more on how people physically look and we don't necessarily focus on people's ability. When I speak about mental health, please don't think I'm focusing on just depression. I'm talking about how you consider yourself, what you think about yourself, how you handle situations. That's what I want to improve within myself. Whether you believe this or not, I actually have a lot of self-doubt and I really just want to pull that away from me and stop being more of a positive person. I am a positive person anyway, but I just want to, you know, I want to do better for myself. Yeah, so that's basically what we're going to do. So if I think I'm going to upload one video a week on that on doing this for me and then cooking with Chrissy is fully on its way another episode of cooking with Chrissy will be up on Sunday so I'm buzzing about that today is Tuesday and I got back yesterday which is Monday the 15th of October I landed in the UK from Toronto at 6 a.m. no 7 a.m. in the morning sorry and then straight away I came home I showered I went to my graduation your girl has fully graduated from law school 2018 can I get a way soul was drained whilst I was studying but I did it I persevered I made it happen and so can you buttons oh my god you look so weird buttons get up come on sit good girl oh but you're so precious oh she's got so big and she missed us and I think that she thinks that Jack's mum's house is her new house because she's being really like quiet look what Jack's so evil. Karma's gonna hit me real good today, but that was really funny. <laughs> I haven't trained and eaten well in such a long time. It feels like forever. It's been actually two weeks. For two weeks, for me, it's forever. So I'm getting back into the swing of things. Got my little pink Vital Seamus Gymshark outfit on. A YouTube haul real, real soon and going through the whole collection. But I do believe it comes out the end of October, so. <laughs> Stay tuned for that mini little tutorial, mini little haul. I've got you, I'll go through everything. And then we've got to do a bit of food shopping. I'll take you guys with me along the way. So let's get this day started. You have to present it like that. It, it should have been done a bit more natural. That's all I'm saying, love. Well, that it, doesn't sound like... <laughs> I've had enough of your sarcasm. 
Oh, what are these? Oat milk, hazelnut. I can't have soy just because it has too many hormones in and it breaks me the hell out. Um, so I'm trying to have my coffees with almond milk. Coconut milk is a little bit too like watery, if you know what I'm saying. So what do you have your coffees with? Let me know. Guys, we're down my favorite aisle in the world. The Robinson squash aisle. I'm gonna get some summer fruit. And I really like, where's the pineapple one? This pineapple one, it's just so, there we go. <sighs> So happy to have you back in my life. Not you. I'm back from food shopping and I'm simply going to show you exactly what I bought and what I'm going to be eating throughout the week. And also I'm going to be doing a whole what I eat in a day on Sunday. So stay tuned for that because I'm really excited for some new recipes we're cooking with Chrissy. So I bought some salmon. So we've got my salmon here. Some fillets. And then some corn pieces, and I thought it'd be really nice to make like a stir fry with this. Add it into my fajita wraps, so corn pieces there. And then I bought got some popcorn for later because I'm gonna go watch A Star Is Born with Jack, and I'm super excited because I've heard amazing reviews. So if you've watched that movie, let me know what you thought about it because I'm very excited to see it tonight. And cinnamon popcorn breaks my bank, okay? I don't know how you're charging people so much money for a bit of corn, but on offer, one pound Tesco. Almond milk. As I said, I wanna reduce the amount of dairy that I'm consuming. The only dairy that I really wanna consume is through my whey protein, just because I get, I genuinely do get on, get on really well with whey. <sighs> Robinson squash, if you're someone who's suffering, I was about to say, if you're someone who suffers from not being able to drink water because it's bland, <laughs> but if you're someone who doesn't enjoy water, Robinson squash is the best. If you don't know what squash is, it's basically like a concentrate. You add it to water and makes it a bit more flavorful. If you don't want to add any of these, lemon, mint, cucumber, even raspberries, a dash of strawberries, you're good to go. Some asparagus. Love asparagus. Broccoli, lemons, fresh lemons are always in my house. Absolutely love lemons. Apples, figs, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, loads of berries, peppers, pizza uh, wraps. Oh. Fajita wraps, absolutely love having fajitas once a week. It is a ritual between me and Jack. So I'm gonna, instead of, I, I normally would add chicken. So instead of chicken, I'm gonna add corn and see how that goes. And then we have, for when we're on the go or we're recording all day or we're working all day, rice. And this is just easy to cook rice, two minutes in the microwave, fish bath off, you're done. Um, Nectarines, red onion, olive oil. This was half price. This olive oil, full price, is ridiculous. Eight pounds for olive oil. I think that's around about $16, $17. I mean, that's a lot of money. Okay, that's a lot of money for olive oil. But this was half price, so I bagged one of these. I got some dried mango because I love what it dropped the expensive olive oil if I dropped that expensive olive oil this video would have been cut I would have been too angry with my life I already gave you a treat okay no more treats yeah she walked away and the other thing I bought oh yeah bought some Radox shower gel listen the two the two hour the 12 hour scented touch this one right here this one is the best shower gel ever it literally lingers on your skin you smell so fresh you smell so good mm. and then little scrubber the other thing I bought was a notepad so let's go sit down and talk about this notepad and why I bought it. 
because this is what I want to talk about in this video. Now, I don't look the best because I've worked out, but um, we're not going to judge, no one judges here. So, now, I wanted to make this series, like I said, because I wanted to encourage you and myself to understand the importance of our mental capacities and the importance of understanding how insanely powerful, incredible, beautiful, strong we are. And I preach this all the time to you guys, but somehow I forget to preach it to myself. It's like having a best friend and you're always complimenting your best friend, you're always telling them they can do it, they have no problem, never self-doubt yourself, never criticize yourself, but you never seem to take what you say to others and utilize it for yourself. And that's what I found these past, I would say that, I would say this past year, if anything, but I've never really opened up about it because like I said, I'm more focused on encouraging other people that I kind of just put myself last. And that's always kind of been the case with me. But um, after these two weeks, especially after the Toronto event, after speaking to absolutely so many wonderful people, I realized that I need to talk more about this because when I was in Canada, I actually spoke to Megan Grubb and I realized that I focus more on making other people happy and focusing on whether other people like me than I don't really consider whether I even am happy with myself. You know, I'm very, <laughs> I have a lot of like, oh no, I'm fine kind of attitude. Like I don't need anyone to tell me what to do. I'm absolutely fine. But truth be told, you need a person in your life, a friend in your life, to kind of tell you to slow down and calm down. And that's exactly what she did. And it actually really helped me realize that I need to start doing things for me and not for others. And that's exactly what I also did in Toronto. I left my phone some days at the hotel and I just went out with Jack in the city. We had dinner together, we had ice cream, we got donuts and we just walked around Toronto. And it was so lovely. And I know these are simple things, but trust me, I'm always on my phone. I'm always working. I'm always uploading. And I, I just forget. I just forget to just take a step back and realize that it's okay to put your phone down and focus on what's in front of you, Chrissy. Like, it's okay. So what I did was, when I was food shopping, I got this little pink pad. It doesn't say five-minute journal. I know, like, the specific five-minute journal. But... I got a little pink pad and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this pink pad right by my bedside table and every single morning I'm gonna write one thing that I'm grateful for every single morning and that's what I'm gonna do from now on I will not forget to do this I will not say oh I'll do it tomorrow I'm gonna have this pink pad that's so fluorescent that I cannot miss it right by my bedside table and every single morning I'm gonna write something that I am grateful for and I'm going to remind myself of that thing that I'm grateful for throughout the day and that will generate positive thoughts that will generate a positive attitude to the life that I'm so lucky to have I'm really excited for this series I'm nervous because I don't think I've ever been this open and honest apart from Q&A's but Q&A's a little bit different but I don't think I'm gonna be as open as honest as I will be in this series with you guys. So I am a little bit terrified, but in a good way because I get to share it with you. So I hope you kind of understand this series and I hope you kind of know where I'm going with it. Before I leave, I just want to say a massive thank you to absolutely everyone that queued, everyone that came, everyone that drove ridiculous amounts of hours to come and see myself and the other Gymshark team. My God, I get chills thinking about it. You are the people that make us do what we do. You are the people that inspire me constantly. The stories that you were telling me, I was just blown away. People were studying and exercising. People had come out of hospital and they were exercising. And that inspired me to even do this series. So a massive thank you to absolutely every single person that I got the privilege and the honor of meeting. You are the most amazing people in the world. So make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and make sure that you are following me on Instagram. Comment down below for what you thought about this video. And yeah, 
Let me know your thoughts. I love you always and forever. Bye. Also, can we just appreciate that my nails and um, hold on, hold on a minute, I've got to do this. So, sports bra pink, pads pink, nails pink. Have a good day.